right, so I'm th I figure it's about time to finally give you guys a video again. Uh, I know it's been a while, and I've, I've gotten quite a bit of things yeah, done. Has, Sorry! Jesus, children. Um, so, one thing that we just got done was we painted the engine bay. Now, yeah, basically I wanted something a little bit darker, something a little bit more renowned, I guess. So when this goes back in with the new turbo, we're going to clean up all of the paint, uh, the valve covers, we're going to redo those. Um, so everything's going to look fresh and new. Also, we got some, oh, what are these? Kendas. Kenda K20As or whatever. Uh, front is a 235-40-17 with a 200 treadwear. The back, which are meaty boys, are... 245 or 255 40 17s so a little bit more meat oh ace i will put that back up there don't worry about that i didn't realize she was trying to put a tire up on the stack um and yeah what else do we got going on here yeah so right now what i'm doing today is going to start up putting stuff on the engine and depending on what all we can get done to start i'm going to do the exhaust manifold now that all of my lines have been heat shielded um, and I took some advice from one of the guys I follow on Instagram to not cheap out on heat sleeving because it will, they, if it's cheaped out and it's anywhere near a hot pipe, then it will bust and spew oil everywhere and cause oil loss in your engine. If you put light on it, it shines rainbow. Yes, it does. It has rainbow sparkle in it. Um, you can't tell unless you have the light. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Click, click. There we go. There you Just go. look closely. It's rainbow. It's kind of fuzzy looking, which is awesome. But yeah, so that's the engine bay paint. And there's a few spots that I wasn't able to get to because masking. But for the most part, it's well covered. So first thing first, we got the gasket on here, compression, compression gasket. Um, I'm not sure what kind of nuts I'm going to have to use with this. Fat from the factory came with this really thick washer and then the smaller ones and then a bolt. So we're going to see what I can do if I'm going to need the thick washer or if I'm just going to need the little washer and then we'll install everything. What? I don't need that. Alright, so I already almost messed up. I forgot that when I undid this right here, this stud right here, the whole stud came out instead of the bolt coming out. So first project is getting that nut off of that bolt or that stud. So and then tighten this back in place. So once we get that off, then we can put the manifold back on. Woo! Alright, so the hot side is assembled. Um, the only thing that's not hooked up right now is the I think it's the coolant drain. Yeah, 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 coolant drain. So coolant feeds on this side, well, down here, and then coolant drains on this side and it wraps around. I just need to get a little bit of longer hose to make me feel comfortable. Hooks in right here. It just, it doesn't quite reach without having to stretch it. And since the downpipes, you know what, I'll just hook up the downpipe so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, so here's the downpipe on. And with this wrapped around, and hooked in. Oh, I guess we do have clearance. Eh, maybe I will hook it up. I don't know. I'm going to go get a secondary line just to be sure. Um, I found that I was short one exhaust manifold bolt, so everything's tight. I just left this one off because it's the easiest one to get to, and that's not on a leading edge, so that shouldn't be an issue as far as the seal. Everything's torqued down. Ex uh, turbo's torqued down. All these fittings um, across the turbo are all torqued down. Uh, just so you know, these are not, this isn't set resting on any of the heat piping. This is actually has a gap between them. I will figure out a way to hold this over a little bit more just to be sure, but that's why I went with the vulcanized sleeving. We have gap in between all these. And then this is going to, once this gets mounted down 
I can't mount it out of the or uh, without it being in the engine because it wraps around the um, steering shaft. So once that's all sorted and tightened down, it will sit away from the exhaust manifold. Now I still do need to make my wastegate downpipe. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet, but it won't be going up. That's all I know. <laughs> I would love to go do an up pipe and just come right out here and come right, or sorry, come right out here and then straight up here, but uh, maybe down the road. Maybe I'll get bored and try and make something up. But for right now, I just, I'm just going to do a down pipe straight to the pavement uh, and it'll be fine. Now, the, ex the hot side is all torqued down. Not torqued, but as best as I could do because you only can fit a wrench in here. So it's all tightened down all the way around. Uh, cold side, not yet. Uh, due to the fact that once everything's in place over here, then I'll go through and tighten this down. Especially handy that all of the bolts are out here and not in here and underneath things. So those will be easier to tighten down. Oh man, but soon she's going to be thriving. So for right now, I think we're at a standstill. I have to get some stuff. And yeah, looking good though. So while going to this video, I realized that uh, all of the videos from installing the intake, uh, the problems that I had and all that stuff, turns out they went got corrupted. So those are no longer usable. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. And next Monday new video should be out on installing the or just putting the engine in and seeing how everything goes so don't forget to check that out and as always guys stay sideways